If you're a noob like me in Roblox, it can be hard to find games to play with so many to choose from. Don't worry, I got you covered. Here's my top 10 games for noobs like you. Number 10, starting off our list, we have Rainbow Friends, a fun survival horror game where the goal is to avoid being found by the friends, each of which have their own way of tracking you. On your quest to survive, you have to complete various tasks such as selecting blocks in order to progress further into the game. After completing the objective, a new friend will be revealed, making the next one a little bit more challenging. Overall, it's a really fun game, and if you haven't played it already, I definitely recommend giving it a shot. Number 9. This is Pass the Bomb. It's basically hot potato with a little bit more explosions. So we just have to make sure we're not the last person with the quote-unquote potato. And if you are, you explode. If not, you're good. And you, the goal is to be the last one standing. It's a pretty fun game. It takes a little while to get queued, though, so that's why it's a little lower on the list. But other than that, it's a enjoyable time. Number 8. This is B. Runner, a fast paced rhythm game where you have to move to the beat and try to get as far as possible in the level while collecting orbs along the way. This game's kind of a hybrid between Geometry Dash and Beat Saber. If that sounds fun to you, I definitely recommend checking it out. Number seven, this is Hide and Seek Extreme. It's a pretty simple game, but I had a blast playing it when I first started playing Roblox. If you've ever played Hide and Seek, you know the concept, but there's a lot of different maps and there's plenty of places to hide, so it's a lot of fun. I highly, highly recommend it, especially if you have friends, you can get a good lobby going and it can be a lot of fun. Number six, this is Farmer Life Simulator. Basically, you're growing crops and raising livestock in the ultimate farming fantasy. It's very similar to games like Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon. If you enjoyed those, you're sure to love this. Number five. This is Encounters, a fighting game similar to Super Smash Brothers, where you can choose a roster of different characters and battle it out, each having their own unique abilities and skills. If you like fighting games, then this will be right up your alley. Number four. This is Arsenal, first-person shooter that takes inspiration from CSGO, with a variety of similar game modes and maps. I know there's a lot of FPS PS game is on Roblox, but I thought this one was one of the best, so if you enjoy that kind of game, I definitely recommend checking this one out. Number 3. This is Evade, a survival based game where you have to avoid being captured by the two hunters, in this case Pickle Rick and Hero Brian. never thought I'd say that, while completing various objectives, like in this stage we have to repair the cameras. It's a pretty fun and quirky game that's worth giving a shot. Number 2. This is Natural Disaster Survivor. This fun fact was actually the very first game I've ever played on Roblox, and I still really enjoy it to this day. There's a very very good variety of different disasters that can happen and different maps to make it fun play along and just have a good time. I highly recommend it. Before we get to our number one, here's a few honorable mentions. This is Frontlines. This has to be one of the best looking games on Roblox. The only reason it didn't make the list is because it's pretty sweaty. Up next is Brookhaven, which is a giant role playing server. I'm not personally into that, so that's pretty much the reason it didn't make the list. But if you are, this is the number one server on Roblox. Number one. This is Doors, a survival horror game that's currently my favorite game on Roblox. What makes it so addicting is its RNG elements, which make each run feel unique. You never know what quite to expect behind each door and what horrors could await. Let me know what your favorite game is down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.